Many people are now aware that a DNA analysis can potentially reveal one's likelihood for an illness or a disease. And Icelanders were perhaps the first to learn this, but in a manner that might serve as a cautionary tale. By 1996, Friedrich had personally entered 300,000 records in the Icelandica book database, greatly assisted by the parish records microfilmed by the Mormons in the 60s and 70s. That year, he was approached by a startup company called Decode Genetics. I had planned to continue just adding data by myself in my spare time. I estimated it would take me 40 years or so and would complete it uh, uh, at the retirement home or whatever. But the people at Decode basically said, we need this database. We cannot wait 20, 30, 40 years. We need it in two, three or four years. So how much money do you need? Decode is interested in genetic diseases or vulnerabilities to certain diseases. We're not talking about uh, diseases caused by a single recessive gene or, or something like that. Not, nothing simple, but uh, issues like where a particular gene or a combination of genes may increase the likelihood of getting a particular disease by 50, 60, 100 percent or, or whatever. And in order to be able to do that kind of research, they needed a database of genealogy information, and they also needed a set of genetic samples to go along with it. So they had a large number of people volunteering their genetic samples, and they got uh, authorization from the Privacy Commission of Iceland to link those two together. Along with genealogical records, DECODE was given access to the medical records of the entire country of Iceland and was permitted to use them in its research in a manner known as presumed consent. However, opposition to the project soon emerged. Richard Lewinton in the New York Times argued that this arrangement had transformed the entire population of Iceland into a captive biomedical community. Eventually, more than 20,000 Icelanders chose to opt out. I asked Friedrich about Icelanders' concerns. The issues were when they wanted to link to certain types of medical history information and wanted to, link, wanted to include uh, information on people that were deceased and had not given their informed consent to being included in the database. 8, 16, 32, 64. That caused substantial controversy doctor-patient privileges, and uh, there are people that say, okay, you may discover that my, my grandfather was carrying some gene, and who knows, uh, that may imply that I have a one in four chances of actually having that gene. I don't like that information to become available. I don't like my insurance uh, company to even have the re most remote chance of getting that information. Ultimately, the initial ruling allowing DECODE access to Icelanders' medical records was ruled unconstitutional, as it failed to protect personal privacy. However, in somewhat of an ironic twist, in 2012, DECODE and all the Iceland records were purchased by an American pharmaceutical company called Amgen. <laughs> 